welcome back to Element and our prenatal yoga series. Today's sequence is all about helping to turn a breech position baby. Now you can practice this video from about 34 weeks onwards during your pregnancy. Now if your doctor has told you that your baby is in a breech position, it just means that their head is facing upwards rather than downwards, which is where we ideally want them to be for a safer and easier delivery. If you are new to Element, welcome. My name's Jennifer. I'm a Pilates and yoga teacher, and I specialize in women's health. If you would like to stay up to date with all of the videos and tutorials that I post to help you throughout your pregnancy, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For our practice today, you'll need a big cushion or a yoga bolster, and we'll also need a sturdy chair. I would recommend you have a quite a soft mat for the work that we do when we get to the chair. Um, if you don't have a particularly soft mat, move that chair to somewhere that has carpet or cushions around it as well. All right, when you're ready, let's begin. So we'll begin our sequence on the mat. Make your way into an all fours kneeling position. Bring your hands down flat on the mat underneath your shoulders. Just open your knees a little bit wider than your hips to create some space across that pelvis and the abdomen. Now starting off here, think nice and strong through the upper back so you have a nice base of support there for your shoulders. And I just want you to focus here on your breath. Inhale, deep breath in. And then exhale. Just release and soften through the lower part of the belly. Good. So staying there as you're breathing and I want you to feel your belly expands out like a balloon. And as you exhale, everything just softens and releases down. So we don't want any tension around the lower back. We want the muscles of the core and the pelvic floor to be as soft as possible. Now working with our breath, let's start to mobilize through the hips. So let's take a deep breath in. On your exhale, just lean your hips slightly back towards those heels. And then inhale, bring the hips back above the hip joints. And let's just keep moving with these. Good. Exhale to lean back. Inhale to shift forward. Just keep going. Try again to relax the core muscles here, using your arms to support you, letting your legs assist that movement as well. Good. So if you do have a breech position baby, hanging out in all fours kneeling is one of the best things that you can do. So I'd recommend even getting comfortable in front of the television if you can. Try to work up to about 20, 30 minutes here, if possible, throughout your day. And you don't have to just be still. You can sway the hips back and forth as we're doing now, or you can start to circle them from side to side. Anything that you can do to create that space in the abdomen and just start allowing that room for your baby to potentially move is what we're aiming for. Good, so just finding movements that feel good and comfortable here for your belly and your lower back. Feel like your sit bones are widening, your pelvic floor muscles are releasing and stretching gently. Good, and you can take it into a full circle all the way around and back here if you wish as well. Again, just keeping that focus on your breath. Good, if you're circling, let's go around the other direction. That's it, last one here. Good, now make your way back to all fours. Good, keep those knees nice and wide. Walk your hands forward as you're coming into that extended puppy pose. So I want you to bring your forehead down onto the mat and just stretch your arms out in front. 
Okay, now if this position is not comfortable on your shoulders or you're finding that it's really difficult to bring your head all the way down to the mat, I'll ask you just to grab your bolster or your cushion, let your head rest on top of that, and then your arms can extend from there. This just creates a little bit less tension on the shoulders here and gives you a little bit of support. So it doesn't matter so much what the shoulders and the head are doing. We're focusing more on letting that tailbone lift to the ceiling. Again, taking deep breaths to really expand and relax into our belly. So letting all the tension just drop out of that abdomen. Let's take one more deep breath here. And then gently walk your hands back in and make your way back to kneeling. Good. Now grab your cushion or bolster. Let's turn it sideways along the mat. Okay, so we're gonna carefully make our way down to laying on our mats here. So what I'll get you to do first of all is just step your feet over the other side of the bolster. Come down safely, so turn to the side, lay down slowly, rolling then onto your back, just so your core muscles are not being strained. Now, once you're down there, lift your hips and just shift that cushion underneath the back of your pelvis. Good, have your feet flat on the floor about hip distance apart. Relax your arms beside you. Now, in this position, all we do is relax and breathe. Now, because you're going to be doing these poses at the end of your pregnancy, I find for a lot of women, this just is not a comfortable position to get into. So if you're finding once you hear that you're short of breath, you're nauseous or you're feeling dizzy, gently come out of the pose, okay? It may be that you can work up to holding for a little bit longer, but if it doesn't feel right for you, I don't want you to push it. Being in an inversion just doesn't work for some women at the end of their pregnancies. Good. Just keeping, again, the focus on the breath. Every time you inhale, feeling that belly expand. Okay, just reversing that flow of gravity. Giving the baby a position, again, that they're probably not used to being in throughout the day as you're sitting and standing. So creating room for them to gently move. So you may start here with just a minute. So if a minute is enough for you and you start to feel, okay, that's enough, please gently come out of it. If you can work up to holding here for five full minutes, then that's great, but that would be about the most that I'd want you to hold this, okay? So again, finding a position that you can relax and feel comfortable. Deep breaths. So we've been here for about one minute now. You're welcome to stay for a little bit longer. Or if you're ready to come out of the pose, bring your feet in a little bit closer towards your hips. Carefully lift the pelvis up, push the cushion down out of the way, ending up with your hips on the floor. And then to safely come out of it, roll onto your left hand side and use your arms to push you back up. So our next pose, we'll be working with our chair. So I'll give you a moment just to collect that now and get it set up near your mat. Now, it doesn't really matter how high the chair is, as long as it's got a nice sturdy base, preferably keep it down onto your mat so your feet and your hips have got a little bit of support as well. So when you're ready, I want you to turn to face the chair, rest your hands onto the back or the sides, just somewhere that you feel comfortable and that you can grip onto. 
have the feet a little bit wider than the hips and just walk your feet back until you can bring your chest down to about parallel to the floor. If it dips a little bit lower than parallel, that's totally fine. Just make sure you're in a position that you can maintain and your body feels comfortable and supported. Now let's soften the knees here. And once again, bring the focus back to the breath, letting that inhale expand your belly forward. Letting that exhale just release and relax you in. Good. Couple more deep breaths. And then start to gently move the hips from side to side. Again, bending the knees a little bit here so we're not straining into the back of the pelvis. You might feel a gentle stretch down through the side of the body and the hips, which is exactly what we want here. Letting all the muscles of the core and the pelvic floor be soft and free. And then gently make your way back into the center. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, gently roll yourself up to standing. Good. So we'll repeat this now with our feet wide and slightly turned out. So feet can come out wider than the mat if that works for you. Otherwise, you can keep them on. Turn out the toes to a position that feels comfortable for you. Once again, walk the hands back up to rest at the back of the chair. Soften the knees, hips lean back, chest comes forward. Letting as much weight just draw you down towards the floor, breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, add those sways from side to side. Taking all the tension out of your lower back. Couple more each direction here. And then just come back to that center again, lower that chest, keep reaching hips back. Take one more deep belly breath and then carefully make your way back to standing. Well done. Good. All right, now our last pose. So this is quite a tricky position to get in and out of. And because of that, I really recommend that you have someone nearby to support you. I will show you how to get in and out of it, but it would be really helpful if you've got someone close just in case you're finding it difficult. I would hate for you to feel like you're going to fall. Now, you don't have to use a chair necessarily for this pose. You can use a couch. You could even use the side of your bed, somewhere that you've got a lot of space around you and preferably soft flooring so that you've got support for your shoulders and your hands once you're down. So to get into this pose, bring your knees towards the edge of your chair or your couch. Very carefully reach down and walk your hands towards the floor. So here's where you might need your support person. Now, once you've got your hands down onto the ground, make sure you feel like you have a good base of support for your legs. And then ideally what will happen now is that we bring our elbows down to the floor as well. Now here, all we're going to do is hold and breathe. You've got your belly just relaxed down in front of you. And similarly to that modified bridge pose, we're using gravity. We're using this inversion to create space in the abdomen and provide that room for your baby to move. That's it. Now this can be quite a workout on the shoulders. So what I want you to do is just hold for as long as possible. Again, some women might feel that this makes them a little bit dizzy or a little nauseous. 
If that is the case, please come out of it immediately. Good. And starting off with a few just deep breaths. The first time you do it, maybe holding five to ten breaths. But if possible, working up to five minutes in this position. Good. Now, to safely come out of it, what we'll do is bring our hands back to the floor, press yourself up, and then just step one leg at a time back down to the ground. And then once you're back onto the floor, just take a seat. Good. Let that blood flow just reverse so we're avoiding any dizziness. And then when you're ready, good, release. Now to finish off today, we're just going to take a comfortable seat on the mat. So if you'd like to grab that cushion or bolster to sit on, please do that again now. So this restorative pose is a really good way to spend, again, 20 or 30 minutes throughout your day if possible. And it's a great way to get into the practice of sleeping as well. Now, preferably we're going to lie down on the left-hand side, but if you're doing this quite often, or if it's overnight and you need to change between the left and the right sides, that is completely fine. So make your way down comfortably onto the mat. Have your arm just reaching out to support your head. Now your bottom leg will be straight and your top leg just comes and rests over the top of that cushion or bolster. Just get into a position here where you can completely relax your hips, your pelvis and your belly. And start to take some deep belly breaths here. Good. So having the knees slightly separated brings the pelvis into a really good alignment. And especially if you're spending many hours in this position asleep, it just tends to create a bit more space for the baby than if your legs were curled up together. So again, you can stay here for as long as you wish. Another good position to be in if you're going to be relaxed in front of the telly for a little while. Let's take two more long breaths here. And now when you're ready, let's use those arms to help press up to sitting. Good. And now we'll find a comfortable seat on the bolster to finish. So before we finish our sequence today, just a couple of reminders. If you do have a breech position baby and you're wanting them to turn, there's a few things that we should avoid in particular. Now the first is slouching while we're sitting down, especially if you're finding the evenings you're spending a lot of time on the couch, avoid letting that upper back round forwards. What this does is compresses the abdomen and gives the baby less and less space to potentially move. So obviously you need to sit down and relax throughout your evening, especially at the end of your pregnancy. But when you do so, make sure you're propped up with enough cushions or pillows so that you can keep your back straight. It's perfectly fine for you to elevate your legs. Just make sure that the legs stay wide. We're not crossing them or again, bringing any compression to the pelvis or the lower abdomen. So the other thing we want to avoid at this stage of pregnancy are deep squats. So a deep squat will help your baby to engage in whatever position that they're in. Once they're engaged, it's very hard for them to then move back up and change positions. 
Now, another great thing you can do to help your baby move out of a breech position is to swim. So if you can spend 20 or 30 minutes in the pool or the ocean a few times a week or even every day, having your belly facing down towards the ground, so not backstroke, and this is a really beautiful way to allow space for that abdomen and allow your baby to move. Being in water is also a beautiful way to get rid of tension through our pelvis and lower backs. You'll feel immediately in water how much lighter and more released you feel. So to finish off today, we're coming into a short visualization and meditation. Let's bring our hands onto the lower belly. Good, sit up in a nice, tall, straight line, letting that belly again be soft and free letting all the muscles of your core and your pelvic floor release to the floor. Now close through your eyes, bring your focus now back to your breath. Taking deep breaths all the way in through the nose and then slowly releasing all the way out. Taking a moment now to connect with your baby. Sending any messages or thoughts that you want them to hear. Just reminding yourself that your body and your baby know exactly what to do. Picture your baby curled up in your womb and very gently now imagine your baby turning so that its head is pointing straight down towards your cervix. Feeling comfortable, nestling into that position. And when you're ready now, you can open your eyes. I hope you found this practice helpful. Like I said, if you have any questions, you can place them into the comment section below. I'm wishing you all the very best for a safe and beautiful delivery. Namaste.